What's going on everyone? It's your boy Olipop and today I am going to the worst reviewed buffet in my city and I'm also going to the best reviewed buffet in my city but first we have a very very special guest joining me today the one and only Brandon aka April Waters. How you doing brother? Good good what's up guys? Are you ready to have some really really terrible food today? Okay I have a little complaint. Yes. I watch your channel and okay. you always make all these good food videos Yes. and I never get the invite. But the day you decide to go to the worst reviewed buffet, I'm the first person you think of? Well, you know, I love you, you love me. I was like, if I get sick, you get sick, we get sick together, That's you true. know? That's what do they say for, for sickness and in health? I, We're not married, but you know what I mean. Like, till something like till death do us part. Yeah, for so th it's the same type of motto. Let's go ahead and read some reviews of this place before we go. So one of the reviews is a one-star review. It says, need to be very careful. I went there today, there's a lot of bugs all over the food. When I talked to the manager, she said, yes, we know, it's a very dirty place. We'll be calling the health department on Monday. Hold on. When you said worst reviewed buffet, I thought the food tasted bad. Not that there's bugs in the food. Well, the way we gotta look at it, it's extra protein for us, okay? Uh, it's, it's not that big a deal. Bro, one star. Well, there's more, don't worry. Bugs? Another one star, horrible. The place is dirty. They don't know how to cook. Things were either all the way overcooked or undercooked. Bro, come on. Let's just, okay, how many of you guys watching this video would rather just watch the best review buffet and we'll just skip to that part? So yeah, yeah. let's go guys. Uh, the place is horrible, food is cold, customer service is horrible. The service here was appallingly disrespectful. All right. <laughs> so the thing is, we're not gonna go ahead and judge this place based off the reviews because sometimes people are angry. We're gonna go in there and give you guys an honest review. And hopefully there's some bugs in the food, right? No. no. Ho hopefully the people who wrote the reviews were just having a bad day, so they were just exaggerating about everything. Yeah. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. But I'm ready to eat, bro. I, I kind of want to see some bugs, but yeah. Let's get <laughs> Dude, what's up with you and bugs? Why? All right, bro. All right, let's go eat. Oh, fourteen dollars for a buffet is actually really cheap. That's a good price. All right, guys. We just got into the buffet, and first things first, the prices are great. Fourteen dollars a person. You can't beat that, bro. I feel like nowadays there's some meals that you get from a restaurant, just like one meal that's more than fourteen bucks. But we got a whole buffet for fourteen dollars. That's crazy. It includes a drink and unlimited food. I went to Mexican food restaurant last night. I got a burrito and a drink for like seventeen dollars, bro. So this is cheaper than a burrito and a drink. That's insane. It must be the. I'm not even gonna say it, but it must mean the food. You guys know what I'm trying to say. The quality yeah. might be, you know. Well, like I said earlier, outside, we're gonna go into this with an open mind. Brandon, stop acting so nervous. Things are gonna be okay. I wouldn't care if I didn't read the bugs comment. If the food just tasted bad, who cares? I'm, I've cooked food that tastes really bad. I could handle it. No, you're a pretty good chef. I'll give you a But the bugs is crazy. Though. You're, you were my chef for 24 hours once. It was, it was decent. All right, let's go get some food. Yeah, let's go. Crispy chicken wings to start. Good. We got some fries here. Some egg rolls. The selection. Oh, mac and cheese. The selection looks really good so far. I'm not gonna lie. Some fresh fish. Brandon. Brandon, where are you going, bro? Look at Brandon right now. What are you getting, bro? I got my plate of food. He has six grapes. Actually, it's five. You have five grapes. Yeah, you you just said I had to come with you to the buffet. You didn't say I had to try yeah, everything you here. You have to try a little bit of everything. They actually, you know what? Brandon is a huge fan of sushi. The sushi. Is oh come on, let's, bro. Let's get you some sushi. You, you no. cannot eat yes. raw fish from a place like this. We're gonna get you some sushi. Come on. Come on. I got my plate right here, bro. What's so bad about this, guys? Doesn't this look appetizing? Shrimp. Oh, sushi. Come on. Bro. All right, let me get a. Let me grab a plate. Let me grab a plate. sushi ring. Right? Can't go wrong with some good old sushi. Actually, a really wide selection of seafood. That's pretty impressive. If you guys have been to a seafood restaurant, one single item is usually more than twenty or thirty bucks. And we're getting all that for fourteen dollars here. That's a really good deal. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go in here with an open mind. I'm gonna try a lot of food. Fuck this. Looks like Brandon's spirits have been lifted ever since he got his six grapes. Or was it five grapes? Five grapes. Five grapes total. Yeah. So we got a lot of food in front of us. And surprisingly, this place has a very large selection of food. Dude, 
Bro, huh? this is for 14 bucks. This is crazy. Yeah. At this point, even if it doesn't taste the best, I'm not even mad. Yeah. 14 bucks, dude. There's a lot of food, bro. But we got mac and cheese. We got pizza. We got fish. There's a huge selection of seafood. Yeah. And seafood's expensive. You know this. Yeah. And they had seafood at this restaurant all for 14 dollars. So what do you start with first, bro? The Jello? No, you're not start with the Jello. I know Brandon. No, the Jello is dessert. Okay. I think you can't go wrong with French fries. I think this is a good sign because if the fries taste bad, then that's not a good sign because French fries are hard to mess up. So. All right, cheers, my French cheers. fries. French fries are good. They're like Cajun fries from Popeyes. Mm. They're very similar to Cajun fries from Popeyes. Wait, the fries are really good. Really good, yeah. I'm surprised. Wait, wait, wait. Moment of truth. I haven't tried my diet coke yet. When does the diet start again? Diet starts tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, that's why we're eating the buffet. That, that's oh. why we're doing the buffet video today. It makes sense. Okay, fries are good. Fries are good. Traditionally, when I go to any type of buffet, I like to get mac and cheese to start. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try the mac and cheese. It's not as sticky, sticky as I like it to be, but okay. That's your standard run of the mill mac and cheese. It's it's not like phenomenal, but it's it's all right. You know, it gets the job done. The cheese, I don't know if it's really cheese, but it's, uh, yeah. I mean, let's be honest, in today's day and age, does any place actually use real cheese? It's all processed anyway, so. That is true. Okay, let's try the pizza. Can you get a close-up on this one? It doesn't look too appetizing. It looks kind of rubbery. It's very, um, like, like, very cardboardy. Okay, I mean, what can you expect? What can you expect? You gotta factor in what you're paying. I mean, it's 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 all right. It's very the crust. It's very hard. It's like cardboard. Like if I slap myself, like that hurts. That's bad. It's very cardboardish. But it's the best way I could put it, right? Okay, it's not terrible. Some bread, maybe? You want some more pizza? I don't want <laughs> more pizza. Thank you, bro. I'm just kind of full. Mm. Garlic bread's good? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's actually good. Oh, garlic bread's good. Okay. This is really good. It tastes like your traditional Italian garlic bread. Mm -hmm. I got some fish. That's, that's risky. I got some fish. And I worked out earlier, so I need my protein. Let's go ahead and try the fish out here. Honest review on the fish. But what's she order? Fish filet. Okay. Once again, summer to the pizza. It's all right. It's not the worst fish I've ever had, but it's not the best. Dude, when you slap yourself in the face of the pizza, you got some cheese on your. Do I? Yeah, but it's all good. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the uh, best fish I've ever had, but it's also not the worst. It's, there's really no salt on the fish. It's, it's, it's whatever. It's the best way I can put it. I'm scared for the sushi, bro. I'm down to do the sushi together. Crab is expensive. It has to be imitation. It no, has to no, be. this is not imitation. Take bro, a look. Yes, it is. No, take a look at this. This is real crab. Why are you eating sushi with a fork? <laughs> Am I not supposed to eat sushi with a fork? Okay guys, look, if you notice, I went for the fries, the pizza, the garlic bread. I was trying to avoid the sushi. But you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. Cheers. Cheers. We're gonna have a moment here, and you're gonna be honest, that sushi was not good. It, um, I'm not like a big sushi guy in general, but I know what quality sushi tastes like and what was I expecting even trying that? Okay. Yeah. Honestly, let me. You just need to talk about the camera, but kind of speak this way. I don't, I don't like the and food because a lot of people in this world, you know, don't have the luxury of eating. Correct. So I'm not gonna like say anything about the sushi. But I'm just hoping you guys get the point. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. That was, I can't, I can't. There's crab here. I, I think Stop. Stop. I think, I think I'm, I'm good off the crab, but I'll go ahead and try like a chicken tender. That's not sure. chicken. That's not chicken. No, I'll I tell you right now. Is, but, um, I have a good way to describe it. You know when girls get a BBL and they take all that extra meat out of their body? That's the added that to this chicken. They put it in this and they call it chicken. I'm sorry. Oh. You have, you try the chicken, but I love you. 
Oh, that's good. Honestly, you know what? If my, boy, if my boy's doing it, I'm going in with my boy. This is bomb. This is actually the best thing I've had so far. They're bomb. I really is. For sure, the BBL meat that came from the girl was a baddie. For sure. Yeah, nice, nice, and nice and thick. Good. Thickums. Hey, that's, you know what? Easy to trash on this place because some of the food was bad. But based on the reviews, I thought it was going to be terrible. I thought everything was going to taste like shit. But to be honest, like the fries, the garlic bread, the chicken, it's actually not that. This is better than what I thought. I'm going to have to agree. After reading all the reviews, it scared us walking in. Yeah. I had a different perception, but we came here. The staff was actually very nice. Yeah, the staff was really nice, first of all. That, they were wrong about the customer. Yeah. The reviews were wrong about the customer service. Yeah, the they, nice. they may or may not have changed management. I'm not too sure, but the staff was extremely nice. The food was subpar, but what do you expect when you're paying $14? It wasn't as bad as people said, exactly. but it wasn't the greatest either. I'd say it's a very average. Honestly, after reading the reviews earlier, you would expect to come here and the food was going to be like a 0 out of 10. Nah, it's not the best food in the world, yeah. but honestly, I would give it like a 4 or 5, which is not bad, bro. I'm going to have to agree about a 4, 4.36 out of 10. We got your bullet here. We did. Like I said, we got to be appreciative that we even have food in front of us. Yes. Some people don't have this luxury, so we can't, we can't trash on food. So now for the good stuff. Let's uh, wrap this meal up and let's head to the best buffet in our city. Honestly, I'm upgrading my review. The ice cream here is bomb. The ice cream is bomb, so... Yeah, this place was a 10 of 10. Look, I'll save my ice cream appetite for the best reviewed buffet. No, some of the best ice cream I've ever had. That's a lie. Molly, <laughs> this is actually really good. That's bomb, right? Yeah. Bro, for breakfast earlier today, I got an acai bowl, and that thing was $16. Dude, $16. $16. This buffet was $14. And the crazy thing is, Jay actually got that for zero cents, because he walked in the buffet, told them he wasn't going to eat, and then walked <laughs> out with the ice cream. Now that we got the worst reviewed buffet in our city over with, we are going to the best reviewed buffet in our city. The one and only Fogo de Chao Brazilian Steakhouse Buffet Unlimited Steak. Are you ready to do this? Bro, this might be the best buffet in the world. Not, not just in our city, but it sounds fire. Brazilian Steakhouse? Unlimited. We have as much fine steak, fine cut meat as we want. Let's go ahead and read some reviews. I mean to cut you off, but how many stars? Oh, five. Five. <laughs> five. Big difference from the one star. We five were stars for. and uh, the price is going to be a lot higher. The price is going to be five times the yeah, last We price. went for $15 last place. This place is probably going to be close to 100 I'd say. Yeah, it's going to be higher. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it is close to 100 Nothing but amazing things to say about this establishment and everyone who works there. Another review says, top quality meat with a nice salad bar to complement the meat. Living in San Diego, we are exposed to a lot of fine dining experiences the best the world has to offer but when we visited Fogo de Chao on a Monday of all days we couldn't have been hit by a bigger wow factor. <laughs> so, it's time to go to the best buffet in San Diego. Let's go. Fogo de Chao. We just got seated here and automatically from the get-go you could tell it is a way better buffet than the other place. Very nice, the ambiance, the lights are dim. It is a romantic setting. Everything about this place is just way better. I feel like I should be with my girl, not with you. I know, it's, Honestly, it's all good, it's all good. It's all good. Sometimes you gotta have a little romance. It's That's true. Real. And what else I noticed about this place, it's so high end that you don't get up with your plate and put your food yourself. You sit here, you relax, and they come to you, and they put you the food on your plate. You simply flip your card green, and they come to you and give you as much steak as you want, unlimited buffet style. And then when you're done, you flip it to no things. Well, because the diet starts tomorrow, it's yes please all day, okay? Oh, do you yes, not please. get full? I do. There's eight hours a night where I sleep, where I don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's such a dentist thing to say. I swear that's a dentist thing to say, bro. All right, but what that makes sense? There's a full salad bar, but what's the point of us doing salad? We came here to eat some good cut steak. Yeah. Let's just flip our cars and let's have some good old meat. What kind of meat is the pecan? Yeah. This is our prime sirloin. Prime sirloin. Like that. This is our Brazilian signature steak. 
Right, we got our first cut of meat, the Picanha Prime Sirloin cooked medium to perfection. That thing is... Woo! It's wow. crazy how this is a buffet, but you literally don't get up with your plate. You just say at your seat. I've never, I've never heard of that. Oh, Brazilian yeah, limeade. Brazilian limeade with condensed milk. Thank you so much. So good. And she wanted to say hi to the vlog. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm gonna try this before. Oh wow, I'll try it. That's the best lemonade I ever had. This is calamansi. <laughs> Oh, that's a good lemonade. It's good, it's different. It's really good. Brandon's like proper, he's cutting a steak, me and just cheers. Mm. Oh wow. Wow. A little different than that first buffet we went to, in a good way though. <laughs> Bro, that's good. A little different? Sorry, I don't mean a little different. That first place we went to was like the Lakers. This is like the Suns. This was really good. The cut of the meat melts right in your mouth. It's a perfectly cooked picante. Pican no. Is it picante? Picanha. Picante is a salsa. <laughs> perfectly cooked, what is it? Picanha. Picanha top sirloin or prime sirloin. Really good. You can tell the quality is night and day. That's why this is the best buffet in our city. The good thing is we have this flip to green, so they're gonna bring out different cuts of meat. And every time we try a new meat, we're gonna go ahead and give you a little review on how it tastes. Yeah. So far, 10 of 10, top of the top. This is a little bacon wrapped steak. Bacon wrapped steak. steak. Uh, uh, I'll let Brandon handle this one. Bacon y'all and bacon wrapped chicken breast. I'll do the steak. Either both if you like. Uh, that's okay, just the steak is fine. I'll go ahead and do the honors. Bacon wrapped filet. Bacon so, wrapped filet. Filet. Filet on its own is already crazy good. It's now wrapped in bacon. Oh wow. Bomb. I don't think there's gonna be anything in this video that's not gonna be a 10 out of 10. Yeah. I'd be, I'd be shocked if we got a cut of meat that we didn't like. But we've only had two meats so far, so let's wait to see what we can find next. Perfect. Damn. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So next up, we got my personal favorite cut of meat, the ribeye. And the reason why I think myself and Brandon love ribeye so much is because it's fatty, full of flavor. And look at this. Perfectly cooked to medium. That's how a steak should be cooked in my opinion. And I know that... Okay, you guys heard him offer a sauce and we turned it down. When you go to a good steakhouse, you never get sauce. Like A1 sauce or nothing like that. No, you let the meat speak for itself because it's so good. You don't need a sauce. The meat is already so flavorful. Like Brandon said, if the meat is good quality, it's going to speak for itself. Mm. Oh wow. Not going to lie. Oh, I'm getting a little full. Close to tapping out. What? Bro, we had the buffet earlier and now we have this. But the food is so good, I gotta keep going. Yeah, I think we'll be here for another about six, seven hours. Yeah, okay. And then, um, Dude, there has to be like a two hour limit here. Two hour, yeah, there it probably is, but long. I can't emphasize how juicy, how fatty, how perfectly cooked this ribeye is. Really good. And there's a reason why this is the best buffet in San Diego. Perfection. Thanks. Bro, they're coming in fast with the meat. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll bring it in. <laughs> We could always, uh, you know, switch. Go oh yeah, yeah. Pause for a little while, take a little break, a little breather. Thank you. So next up, we got the alcatra, which is the top sirloin. I'm probably not saying it right, but the alcatra. And this, very thin compared to the ribeye. Dude, I'm getting meat sweats. Meat sweats? Bro, you eat too much meat, you start getting hot and sweaty. It's good. It's good for the cholesterol, man. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. oh. That's good. That's good. That's thin. More rare than medium. Yeah, this is this is like medium rare. Yeah, and sure. usually I'm not a fan of the rare, but this rare is done. It's done right. This is how like, it should be, right? I feel like uh, I feel like the guy from TikTok, Bali Long. He eats like the testicles. And he eats all the raw meat. He eats all. His, he eats all the steak raw. He's like kind of like Liver King. I feel like him right now. You like it medium rare, Ali? <laughs> <laughs> 
What what? I just want to get some. Okay. <laughs> you sounded like Borat. <laughs> Pineapple and cinnamon, grilled pineapple tom. Literally, and according to my main man who was just here, he told us it's good for the digestion. No, he also digestion. Said, sorry. He also said it's very nice. <laughs> he gave us a Borat impersonation, bro. Oh, we want. <laughs> no, but uh, this is literally burning hot. It's weird. Like this is um. Have you ever had something that's just a little too bougie for you? I got uh, a little too bougie for me. Rich people, they already ate all the regular food, so they just start doing crazy shit. Like pineapple, when it touches my tongue, it's supposed to be cold, refreshing. And pineapple is supposed to be meant to... It's like an investment for later. <laughs> you know? Pineapple, that's what pineapple is. It's an investment for later. But this one is like, it's weird because you get the pineapple taste, but then the feeling is warm and hot. It's like you're eating like... Like steak, I don't know. I'm yeah, I'm gonna have to agree. I think pineapple is better cold. And this is just a little too bougie for me. It's, it wasn't my thing. Yeah, no, not for me for sure. You think it's for me? Look at my face. So we're gonna try the lamb chop. Now, do you like lamb normally? I'm Middle Eastern, so like a lot of our meals are lamb. I've tried it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. For me, I'm not normally the biggest lamb fan because it has that gamey taste. But if it's cooked right, lamb can be bomb. So I'm gonna go into this with an open mind. Lamb chops. Man, Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Very uh, Yeah, for me, it's too gamey. What does gamey mean? Like, did you see this face I'm making? I like, only make that when it's gaming. Like you know? cringe, kind of? Yeah, but for like a meat sense, you know? Yeah, the lamb is. I'm not saying they cook it bad. Like, it just tastes like. like it's, it just, it's, it's different. It's very gamey, like I was saying. Lamb isn't my cup of tea. I was gonna give this a chance, and I did give it a chance. For me, it didn't do the job. Nah, 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 nah. I'm good off that. I'd rather eat the steak. Yeah, but overall, the steak here top of the line, untouchable. Oh, yeah. The food was really good. All the beef that we had, bro, amazing. Like, it put me in a food coma. I need to go home and go to sleep right now. That's how That's how you know the food was good, when you're about to take, take a nap. I think I'm gonna take a nap, like my eyes are beginning to close. Let's make sure to put the no things, cause I'm good. At least for right now, no thanks. All right, I think it is safe to say we've ate enough food for today. We have the worst reviewed buffet in our city and the best reviewed buffet in our city in one day. Can I spill the secret? Yeah. If you're followers of my channel and you saw my video trying Filipino food for 24 hours, here's a little behind the scenes story. That video was filmed right before this one, the same day. So I have all that Filipino food and then I promised Ali I'll help him with his video. And then hey, I have- He's not lying, I'm still wearing the same shirt. Look, so they chilled while we filmed it, bro. I'm so full of time and fun. Bro. The reality is I've never seen Brandon eat that much food in the last 24 hours in my life. Brandon doesn't eat like that. So I know you're dying. Thanks for being a trooper, bro. Got you, bro. Thank you so much. I'm a, I'm a skinny person, bro. I weigh 145, so this this is really getting to me, bro. I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go. Overall, though, I will say Fogo de Chao is probably the best buffet I've had in 10 out of 10. And the worst review before you went to, well, it was, uh, it wasn't worse. Yeah, it was worse. It was not pleasing. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, Pop, and we're out. Peace.